In the world of track machines, few names carry as much shock and awe as McMurtry's fan-powered hypercar. The tiny single-seater Sperling Pure, meaning thunderstorm in Irish, ripped up the performance rulebook in early 2025 by obliterating a 21-year-old Top Gear test track record with a 55.9-second lap, shaving 3.1 seconds off the old Formula One benchmark. It rockets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 1.40 seconds, blasts the quarter mile in under 7.97 seconds, and out-accelerated every hypercar on record boards, beating machines you'd expect to dominate like the Rimac Nevera, Bugatti, and even Formula One runs on certain measures. At Hockenheim, it lapped the circuit around 14 seconds quicker than a Mercedes AMG 1, running at 80% power with a 155 miles per hour speed limit. This is not a modified EV. It's a 1,000 horsepower car that can generate roughly 2,000 kilograms of downforce on demand, producing grip levels once thought to belong only in science fiction. Sir David McMurtry's life reads like a preface to the Sperling. An engineer who co-founded Renishaw after inventing the touch-trigger probe and who worked on the Concorde engines, he spent decades dreaming of a small and mighty racer that would rewrite what's possible on four wheels. Quietly, in 2016, he and engineer Thomas Yates set up McMurtry Automotive with a lean Gloucestershire team to resurrect fan car technology last seen in competition in the 1970s. By 2021, the single-seater had taken shape, and in 2022, McMurtry, at 81, famously drove the first prototype. He remained intimately involved until his death in late 2024 and the car's early records stand as his final testament. The Sperling's secret is simple yet brutally effective. A downforce on-demand system driven by two massive fans spinning at roughly 23,000 revolutions per minute that suck air from under the car and blast it out the rear. Unlike conventional wings that only create strong downforce at high speeds, these fans generate full downforce from zero meaning launches without wheel spin, Formula One-like cornering from the first turn, and braking performance few road cars can match. The team reports the car can pull over 3G in tight corners. At rest, the system delivers downforce equal to multiple times the car's weight, and the effect is visible in every driver account. Instant, total adhesion, and a sensation of being glued to the track. Test drivers have described it as surreal, immeasurably quicker and more composed than anything else they've driven. Engineering a machine that combines explosive electric power with a high-speed suction system presented uncommon challenges. McMurtry gathered XF1 and aerospace engineers with Thomas Yates leading the fan car revival and Kevin Ukoko Rungione managing drivetrain and control systems. Max Chilton, an experienced race driver, became the lead development driver. Synchronizing fan operation with power delivery, packaging a high-capacity battery, around 60 to 100 kilowatt hours, without exceeding the mass target, and managing intense heat loads were all problems the team solved through rigorous testing. The Pure variant introduced in 2023 improved fan efficiency by about 15%, trimmed skirt weight, widened tires, and revised suspension geometry all to better exploit its immense downforce while improving reliability and control. Records followed quickly. The Sperling's competitive debut at Goodwood in July 2022 stunned the motorsport world. With Max Chilton at the wheel, it completed the 1.16-mile hill climb in 39.08 seconds, beating previous fastest times and even surpassing full-blown Formula One machinery on that technical course. Soon after, a high-profile car wow test saw Matt Watson strapped in on Silverstone straight, pinned back as the fans roared and the car sprinted to 60 miles per hour in roughly 1.40 seconds and through the quarter mile in under 8 seconds, the fastest acceleration car wow had ever recorded. Then came the Dunsfold power lap in April 2025. A specially prepared Pure VP1 clocked 55.9 seconds breaking the Renault R24 F1 car's long-standing record and creating another viral moment under Top Gear's cameras. McMurtry confirmed these were production-spec configurations, 
and the company continues to unlock full power and downforce as tests confirm durability. The upside down test, called Project Inversion, was part physics experiment and part spectacle. The team built a giant rotating rig and, with Thomas Yates at the controls, spun the platform 180 degrees to see if the fans could hold the car upside down. In front of independent observers, the Spearling drove inverted for a few feet and returned upright. It was not a visual effect, but a live demonstration of the system's ability to counteract gravity with suction. That experiment, combined with its track records, provided physical proof that the fan system works exactly as intended. The Sperling's compact design is another engineering triumph. It sits only about 1.02 meters tall and uses a full carbon fiber monocoque to keep weight under a ton. The low frontal area and rigid structure let the aerodynamic system and electric powertrain function without compromise. The car's short wheelbase, racing suspension, and slick tires are engineered to tolerate the multi-G loads the fans create. Braking benefits as well, since activating suction increases tire normal force instantly, letting the car brake harder and later than almost any street-legal machine. The Pure model trades a bit of top speed for more stability, featuring a larger battery, better cooling, and a top speed near 190 miles per hour. It's focused entirely on lap time and repeatable track performance rather than straight line records. Beyond the lap times, McMurtry thought carefully about the ownership experience. The company announced a street legal track focused version derived from the pure hardware with deliveries set for 2025 at a price near 995,000 pounds and a production cap of around 100 units. The goal is to let owners experience the fan car on both public roads and private circuits with minimal compromises. McMurtry is also preparing exclusive track day programs and potential one-make events to give owners an environment where the Spearling can perform to its fullest. The implications of this car are enormous. The Spearling's instant traction, low weight, and downforce from rest redefine performance physics. Lightweight, compact designs can now outpace far heavier hypercars that rely only on power and conventional aerodynamics. Engineers and journalists have already speculated about future goals, including possible Nürburgring production lap records. The team's 2025 testing tour has visited several European and U.S. circuits, including Castle Combe and Laguna Seca, where the car reportedly set new benchmarks. If McMurtry pursues further international circuit records, the Sperling could cement its place as a historic breakthrough in automotive design. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.